Hey friends, it's Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to our kitchen. Today I'm so excited because I am going to show you how I preserve potatoes. This is just one way that I preserve potatoes. I can them, I dehydrate them. Today we're going to dehydrate them. You can use um, potatoes from your garden harvest if you would like. You can use store-bought potatoes. It just doesn't really matter. Today I'm going to use some potatoes that I got on sale. Um, these are just going to be russet potatoes. But let me tell you, I think that we can all agree that prices are through the roof right now and they don't seem to be getting any better. Um, it's really a good time to go ahead, if you can find something on sale, to um, buy that and start preserving your food for your long-term storage. I don't know if you saw my video of uh, my potato, all gratin potatoes that I made, and it is all from dry storage, and they are delicious. Those potatoes, I believe, were over six years old, my dehydrated potatoes. Uh, but anyway, it is time to rotate some things in my pantry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this today. I'm gonna make sliced dehydrated potatoes. You can uh, cut them like french fries, you can shred them. I've cubed them before for stews and things like that. They just take a little bit longer to dehydrate. But anyway, guys, um, we'll go ahead and get started. I wanna show you also this slicer that I use. This is a, called Prep Solutions Multi Slicer. I'm gonna tell you, I got this years and years ago, and I think I paid like seven bucks for it. This is so handy dandy. Um, I'm sure that they probably still sell them. I don't make any money off this or anything. I'm not sponsored by them, but I just want you to know that this thing is just makes your life so much easier if you don't have a food processor. Um, I use this for my pickles, to do my cucumbers and things like that. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these peeled. You, you just wanna cut off any blemishes that they might have, any dark spots or things like that. So the first step was peeling your potatoes and rinsing them off. I've got them sitting in a strainer here. I have a bowl full of um, ice cold water. There's not any ice cubes in there or anything, but it is ice cold water. And I'm. this is the next step before we blanch the potatoes because we will blanch them before we put them on the dehydrator. So this is a bowl of ice cold water and I am just going to slice these directly into here. I'm using this thick slicer on here and I'm just gonna get going. You can see they're about a quarter inch thick. You can just as easily use a knife to slice these, but you really just want to kind of get them somewhat uniform. So this slicer just works out just perfect. These are absolutely perfect slices of potatoes for all rotten potatoes or what have you. I'm going to show you my basic setup I've got going on over here. Very simple, okay? I've got this water coming up to a boil. This is where I'm going to blanch my potatoes. This is the bowl that I directly slice the potatoes into that has ice water in it. This bowl here is a bowl of ice water that after I blanch the potatoes, I'm going to drop them in there to stop the cooking process. And then I'm going to put them into this bowl to set until I get all of these done to put into my dehydrator. But let's go ahead and get started on that. So this water is up to a boil. I'm gonna bring my bowl a little bit closer here and go ahead and just start scooping these out and dumping them into my boiling water. My water is up to a boil. I'm gonna remove the lid. And I'm gonna set my timer for six minutes. All right, time is up, guys. That was six minutes. Now I'm just gonna scoop these potatoes out and I'm going to drop them into this ice bath. Okay, this is gonna stop the cooking process. Just dump them directly in there. Alright, while that is sitting, I'm going to go ahead and put more into my pan, okay? Nothing is added to this water. There's no salt or anything like that added to this water. It is just plain old Jano boiling water. 
Okay, I'm just scooping these in. To a boil, we're going to go ahead and scoop these out of the ice water and just put them in this. This is ice cold water. I believe the ice has kind of melted a little bit. But this one here has to be ice cold. That's what stops the cooking process. So we're just gonna get these scooped out and transfer them over to my other bowl. And this is up to a boil. So I'm going to remove the lid, set my timer for six minutes. One. We're going to scoop these into the ice water bath, just like before. So these are sitting in the ice water bath. Before we transfer them over to this one, we're going to then we're going to put these in the dehydrator. This is the dehydrator that I have. It's a Presto. I've had this thing for years also, and I have used the heck out of it. It's been a just fantastic dehydrator. So you don't have to have anything major fancy to do this, okay? So let's go ahead and get started placing them onto the trays. Just going to start placing these potatoes. That water is really starchy looking but we've got a lot out of the potatoes. So I'm just gonna start placing these on the dehydrator. Oop, that one fell apart. Get it together now, get it together. I'll be more gentle here. This kind of shows me maybe I blanched those too long. You know, maybe shoot for five minutes instead of six. I did go a si uh, the full six minutes. So, you know, maybe just even five, five to six minutes would be good. And try to fit as many on here as possible. I'm going to move on to the next tray. I'll put a link to the au gratin potato recipe that I have down in the description. Always look at the description, guys. There's usually some useful information in there and links to videos and things like that, recipes or what have you. If you want to see more videos like this, I hope that you consider subscribing to our channel. I do preserving videos quite a bit. love when this happens. Everything worked out just perfect. Perfect amount of potatoes slices for the dehydrator. Look at here. There's one, there's two, three, four trays. They're prettier on the lower trays. These, um, I went ahead and put them on here anyway, but these were at the bottom of the pile and they, um, some of them were broke up a little bit, but like I said, I think that next time I'm just going to shoot for the five minutes not the six whole minutes of boiling. My dehydrator sets, it automatically sets at 125. So if you have a dehydrator that you can set the temperature on, just put it at 125. This is gonna go for about six hours. It could go a little bit longer. It depends on how thick your slices are. It all depends on the humidity in your house, the humidity outside. And there's just a lot of different factors. So we will check on it, you know, in about six hours or so. I do check it in between on my dehydrator because I want it to all dehydrate evenly. I'll come through here and I will switch out my trays. I'll rotate this one to the top and the top one to the bottom and so forth, okay? Just because I want them to be, uh, evenly dehydrated. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and get them started. This is actually like four days later since I started the video. We have gone on family reunion since then. We left on Friday and came back on Sunday. So it is Monday. Um, the, the potatoes dehydrated for approximately seven hours or so and I just unplugged it and off we went. Um, I knew that they were done. They turned out just perfect but I want to show you exactly how they ended up looking. And here's one right here. They're translucent. I don't know if you can see through that. They're translucent and this is how they break. Just like that. They just snap. 
Okay, there's no bending, they just snap right in half and that's how you know that they're done. And I've also shown in the past how if you drop it on the counter, it just kind of pings. Can you hear that? It just kind of pings. But anyway, that's what you want it to look like, okay? They are completely dry. You don't want to put them in a container, um, in a container and have any of them have any moisture at all, otherwise it will ruin your whole batch. I've got this container here that is a glass container that I got at the thrift store and these will store in here just perfectly. You can just drop them in here. Um, this jar right here, I'm not sure how old it is, but it's not like your newer type. It's just absolutely beautiful, and I am not, I won't can anything in this, but I will put my dry goods in it. Now, you can store this in mylar bags, you can store this in plastic containers, just as long as it's in a dry area, um, it'll be just fine. And like I said, you know, my potatoes on the all ground potato video before, the potatoes were like seven years old, six or seven years old, and so they last a long time. They might not be too pretty by then, you know, they're a little bit discolored. I have them right here. I'll kind of show you, see the color of them. Um, but they taste just fine. They taste just fine in that recipe. Okay, see how they're a little bit darker than the other ones. Let's see if I can find another. They're a little bit darker. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you dehydrate your potatoes. This might not look like a whole lot of potatoes, but do not let that discourage you at all. You just take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and before you know it, your dry good pantry will be stocked. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we do thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.